I don't want to be politically correct. I want to burn away the lies and the propaganda that separate us from truth and from each other. I would say if you're a person who was absolutely horrified that RFK was now supporting President Trump, I would encourage you to go on and watch the full 48 minute speech he gave because I think we get world views from little snippets of information that might have been just taken completely out of context. Look at it from a point of view of two trains. Two timelines are like two trains. And if you think about it, here's a group of people and here's a group of people and we're on two different timelines now each group has their truths so if you have two trains that are going along the same and they each have their own truths that are different eventually the trains start going in different directions but while they're still pretty close together you can jump from one train to the other train you're still close enough where you're still in contact you still have the people on the other train in your awareness but what is starting to happen on a very high level is these trains or timelines are starting to split where there's no way you can jump from this one over to this one. The gap is too big. The whole analogy of that, if you really think about it, is pretty powerful. I do think it's important to have conversations with people we disagree with. Listen deeply, listen with your eyes, listen with your gesture, you know, nod, Show them that you're actually listening and ask questions because you would be surprised at the depth of the character and the life rich history that other people have. There are so many beautiful stories that people have out there that it's, it's a really beautiful thing. But I personally prefer to be with and have conversations with like-minded people. I think this is really common. I think it's becoming more acceptable to say, okay, while we should still be able to have conversations with people we disagree with, there are some issues that I have talked myself blue in the face and the other person has too, and it's just ended poorly. So I don't, at this point, I don't wanna to try to change someone else's mind. And this goes back to the whole thing. At what point do you stop caring? And I'm not talking about being a caring, loving person. I'm talking about what point do you really care about changing someone else's path and timeline and trajectory. You'd, it's not your job to do that. So like I said, that being said, the fundamentals are so starkly different that I prefer to be with like-minded people. And here's why. So that I can be more creative, I can live my truth, I can become more spiritual because that is important for me. I can contribute to the collective good and I can simply be happy. Thank you.